Well, you've probably noticed by now that the renderings don't look that interesting. Everything is gray. As we know from the previous module, every body in Fusion 360 has an appearance associated with it. Every body also has a physical material associated with it. The two can be independently changed. A body could have rubber as its physical material and glass as its appearance. Appearances are what matters when it comes to rendering. That's probably why of the entire toolbar full of commands, physical material is the only one that's hidden in the drop-down menu. It's just not as important for rendering. To find out which appearance and physical material are associated with a given body, you can use those commands in the toolbar or you can ask for the body's properties. Find the body, either in the canvas or in the browser, right-click and choose properties. Some of the properties that appear here, like mass and density, are directly related to the physical material for this body. That's why physical materials exist in Fusion 360, to be able to determine the real-life weight of a body or to simulate stresses upon it. This particular body has a physical material of steel and an appearance called steel satin. Every physical material in Fusion 360 has a default appearance that's paired with it. That doesn't mean they need to stay in sync, though. I'll show you how to change the appearance of a body without changing its physical material. Again, appearances are what we care about when it comes to rendering. To change the appearance of a body, we can click the Appearance icon in the toolbar. Browse to the appearance you want, and drag it onto the body or component that you want to change. Just a quick note here, remember that a component is usually a collection of bodies or components. It can get confusing sometimes if you're dragging directly onto the model. Did I just drag onto a body or a component or a subcomponent? Sometimes it's better to use the browser where everything is named and organized into a tree. Once I've dragged an appearance onto one of my bodies, it will appear in the In This Design section from now on, even if it's an old appearance that I used in my design way back unless I choose Unassign and Delete. From that same menu, I can discover where that appearance is being used in the design. Choosing Unassign and Delete on an appearance will cause that part of my design to revert back to Fusion 360's default appearance of steel satin. Let's look back at the body's properties to see that the appearance has changed. It's important to note that an appearance can be applied to a face as well. I'll click Appearance in the toolbar again and change from Bodies Components to Faces. Now when I drag an appearance, it only affects a face on that body. While this seems pretty handy, it might actually get to be a bit confusing since the appearance field doesn't change in the body's properties when you do this. As we saw earlier, every physical material has a corresponding default appearance. I'll give a quick demonstration of how the physical material and appearance can be out of sync and how you can get them to correspond again. When we look at the properties of this body, we can see the physical material of steel and the appearance of steel satin. I can change the physical material for that body using the physical material command in the toolbar. I'll change it to canvas. If I look at the properties for that body, I can see that it changed the physical material to canvas. It also changed the appearance to the default appearance associated with a canvas physical material. It's called Fabric White. I'll change the appearance to Weathered Leather. And take another look at the body's properties. You can see that the physical material is still canvas, but the default appearance of fabric white has been overridden with leather. Finally, I'll right-click on that body in the browser and choose Remove Appearance Override. 
and you can see that the appearance reverts to the default appearance associated with its physical material. All of this is to show that while appearances are what really matter in rendering, physical material still plays a role in determining which appearance is applied.